Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a good Tuesday. Well, today is floss tube day. It is my 244th floss tube. And today is September 3rd, 2024. We're already to September. It'll be Christmas next week. And we have our yellow cup for September. And I'm drinking Darjeeling tea. How is everybody doing? I hope you're all having a good week, a good Tuesday, and that you had a great Labor Day yesterday. Yeah, I got to work. Yay! But it was fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. So... Yeah, it's been a week. Yeah, we did a couple of things. We had uh, four reviews. Amazing, but true. And I had five starts. So, let's just jump in with both feet, you know? It, it's like, what the heck? We're going to just start in no particular order. This one was from AliExpress. I'm trying to figure out if it was right side up. AliExpress that I got. And it is that dragon. Oh, yeah. So, I got a little... I put them both... Both of those disc ones in its own bag. Could I find it this morning? No. I am telling you. Well, I'm trying to figure out which way is up. Holy cow. So, that is the only part that I got stitched on. And I'm liking it okay. It's fine. I just haven't had a chance to get by, back with it. You know, my daughter and I, we went and got that. Went to all those, call them sales. You know, at three different places. And they weren't sales. But you know what I mean. Three different places to find things. And I got that trunk. So it's sitting here consuming my corner over here. And I kind of kept things out that I was working on. And evidently it got put in a bag over here. Not a bag. I have those baskets. Yeah. Couldn't find it this morning when I went to go do this. Oh, yeah. Another one that, that I started, and i got to look at my paper, hang on, was from Seven Great. I didn't write it on the back of the bag for some reason, but I really, really did like this. And, oops, sorry, should show you a picture. It's that, we call it watercolor dragon. I mean... The watercolor is more on the outside edges where this is more precise, you know, in the middle. And, of course, I have the thread in the middle of all that. So, just worked, as you can see, right there at the top and a little bit on the flowers on that side. So, not much to show because those colors were kind of light. I even tried to put some black in. There's the flower part that I worked on. So, not not a whole bunch. Just, I don't know, distracted last week? I got nothing. I, I, I have no idea. I'm going to set that over there. This one was from FG Normal. Get it out of there and then get the picture out see which side it goes all right it's the that flower mill thing and someone had asked whether or not that mill part was going to show up i got nothing because i wasn't even working in that area i don't know that you can or can't see it I'm trying to move my thread around so, I worked quite a bit on it. I did practically finish this one. I think there's one or two 
symbols, I can't remember. Didn't start putting the green in, just running out thread, basically. As you can see, it's kind of helter-skelter. If I had a thread and I wanted to run through it, yeah. But it's coming along fine, so, and I really like it, too. It's kind of easy to stitch on. It's going to have some back stitching. Aren't we thrilled? Oh, my goodness. Then, not yesterday. I guess it was Saturday and Sunday. I worked on this one. And it came from One Day Saving. It's the beaded uh, poinsettia. So, I worked up here. And got some of it done and then I wanted to see what the flower actually looked like so I got that much done before my neck decided to say we're done for today yeah so I've been working on it just keep adding to it here there and everywhere and yesterday I started this one it was from VIP cross stitch and it was during a uh, part two of that so we started up here in this ear on the bunny and I it's a little compared to everything else I have I'm trying to figure out which way's which so I about got that ear done it's got a couple more symbols in it so and it's going pretty fast I mean they're the colors are kind of in rivers where I'm working right now. Not to say that they'll be that way all the time, but I just think it's a pretty little kit. And it's it's like pocket size, you know? So those are all of the starts. I also worked on, I think it was this week, I, I'm pretty sure because I was pretty distracted. On this one, it's called Treasure Ball, and it was also from AliExpress. And this, it, well, it's still got a straggling thread. More straggling. So, yeah, I was working on this, and I thought, well, I'll just put this in, and this is the one where I started working on the white. Yeah. Just stitching along like I knew what I was doing, and yeah. You got one primary objective here, and it's just stitch on the blue. Not the white. Yeah, so I had to back all that out, but that's all I've gotten done from that one. It's one I can pick up if I don't want to look at a whole bunch of different symbols. It's a nice respite for your eyes, because all you're looking for normally is the blue and it's just one single color stitching with and one single color on the canvas so that's why it's very nice and easy to work on oh my goodness and whoops this has a few threads i got this out because i saw i think it was lovecraft Got this as well and she just loves it just loves it yeah so I had to pull it out and put a few stitches in it and I'm not making a whole bunch of prog progress here so it's kind of confetti but beautiful beautiful colors so that is I have to feel I did some like right in here and then right on that side but you really cannot Hold that down so you can see what the hell. You know, you just can't see it. I mean, the, the pattern seems busy. You know, with lots of colors for some reason. I don't know. What can I say? Yeah. So I worked on that for a little bit. And... I don't have a picture for this except for that one right there and it is my rainbow dragon and we just did a little bit oh, 
on. Where was it? Hold it. So that's what it looks like so far. And we worked down that long stretch of dark where the uh, 550 purple was. I just, I don't know where that went. We'll find it. There's another one. So, yeah, that was what we did for Saturday. I really like this one. I just don't want it to end. It's so pretty. Let's see, what else did I work on? I worked on, I don't know where that thread went. Not a clue. It just fell right into the black hole of Calcutta, and it's not like I don't have any 550 purple, believe me. I must have bought 12 skeins of 550 purple. Get, oh my god. This one is, where is the picture? Mediterranean. Really like that one. Oh, and I saw another one by Joy Sunday. I don't know what it's ca called exactly, but you've got like a terrace here. And then you have the sea going that away and some mountains maybe up there. Yeah. <sighs> maybe in my future. We're jumping confidence. So... I worked basically in this corner trying to finish up these roofs on these houses and to do the actual houses. So it has a lot of color change, but the color, it's like, how do I say? Pools of color, but there's a lot of little pools, so little dots of color. So you keep changing or I just run the thread out so I'm like down in here running thread out so yeah and part of that done so it doesn't go fast but I like working on it it's like a colorful town which I'll show you next but on a grander scale this is on in a smaller canvas so to speak and the last one that I worked on is Speak of the Devil. Oh, it's not a devil. I really like this one, too. It's this one from, uh, yeah, uh, about a spring from seventh grade as well. Love it. I love all the colors in it. Let me see. So, I've been working down here in these pinky purp. what is that word? Kind of a mulberry color. It's, it's not purple. It's, the dark color may be purple. I think there's some 550 in there. But it's got more of a red-violet shade to it. So, yeah. Just right in there. Haven't finished up there. There's like a couple to put that whole scenario to kind of together and then but see how they run in rivers of color and but you're changing color so it's either stitch that area put the thread away and get another one or just I just run the thread out you know right down and if there's none really close and I have to really go looking I will put it away but yeah that's last resort I usually run the thread out just so I don't have to uh sorry my eyes itch uh have to do that I I just I don't like putting a single thread back sometimes I'll get out like a six strand and think ah, I'm gonna put that whole color in mm. I'll work on it, work on it, work on it. Then I'll put it away, and then I'll come back to it and go, I don't want to finish putting all that strand. Then I'll put it away, but... <sighs> yeah. So, that is everything I started and stitched on. You know, just some things got a few threads, some things not so much, or I've worked on it totally. So, yeah. That's 
about the way my stitching goes. But this week, um, we'll probably have a few reviews. I'm supposed to have companies starting Thursday through Sunday. So, I, if it's a review, I'll try to get it ahead of time. Uh, I'm not sure about the stitch with me's in the afternoon. We'll see how that all transpires. Usually, I can throw a couple in there. And I don't know if we'll have Saturday stitching. Uh, uh, everything's kind of in the air. So, but... On uh, for September, the theme for Saturdays is uh, samplers, and that's any kind of samplers. Like, oh, of course I don't have it. I'm looking right at it. Like the couple that I, I don't know, no, I don't have. You know, it's kind of convenient. Like this, this would be a sampler to me. You know, anything that has small elements in it like that either stamped or counted whatever you want to work on that that's what I mean by samplers though and I don't know you can also throw in special diamond painting because it's got little elements it's not a full coverage usually nine out of ten times work on whatever you want you know it, it's fine but we'll be doing samplers for the month. And that is what I mean by samplers. I thought I'd explain all that. Other than that, guys, that is about it for this week. I mean, it, it seems like it was busy. Work is slowing down like crazy. So, yeah. We'll see. It'll be kind of quiet. So, lots of audiobooks, you know. At work, that is. I can't do audiobooks and, and stitch. I know, isn't that the dumbest thing? It's like I can't focus on what they're talking about. And so at work, when it gets quiet, I just have it on my phone and I just turn it off if somebody comes in or somebody drives in or whatever. But yeah, it's a lot easier to do that there. So we get a lot of audiobooks read, if you will, or listened to during the winter. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today. I sure do appreciate each and every one of you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.